Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Windows 10 is 10 years old, and the end of support is fast approaching next month on the 14th of October, 2025. And I thought it would be interesting to take a look at some of the elements in the operating system, which according to an article by Neowin, which will be linked in the description, Microsoft hasn't yet been able to fix, even after 10 years. Now, this is in no particular order, and obviously it's not a comprehensive list. Now, back in 2015, as you may well know, Microsoft announced that it was working on deprecating the legacy control panel in favor of the more modernized settings app, which meant migrating a whole lot of the existing control panel functionalities and settings and options to the new modern settings app, the new user interface. And I think it's safe to say that 10 years later, and this is definitely still a work in progress, even on Windows 11. And as I've mentioned previously, I personally prefer the legacy control panel and just wished Microsoft had just kept it that way. But obviously, I've seen in the comments that there are a lot of users who are actually in favor of the new settings. But nonetheless, that is still a work in progress even 10 years later. And then we get the error 0x8007064 which I posted on well over a year ago, which is regarding the Windows Recovery Environment error, WinRE, where Microsoft cannot fix that error. And it also requires you to perform manual steps to address the issue, which I think for your average home user, your average Joe isn't really going to fly. And that's why I said I think Microsoft was being a bit cheeky. And because the error, according to Microsoft, doesn't actually impact the running of the operating system, Microsoft has said that it's safe to ignore, which has got a lot of users up in arms, including myself, because I think that's just not really going to cut it. But nonetheless, 0x8007064 is still an error which Microsoft still has not fixed. And then we get tablet mode which is a touch-friendly user interface which contains a couple of changes in Windows 10 to make it easier to use your hands obviously in touch mode. Now I think it's safe to say once again that Microsoft has never really been able to nail this concept 100% and it's not a very user-friendly experience if you have ever enabled tablet mode. So I think tablet mode is up there with the rest. And then here's another big one, which I think Microsoft has so-called pushed it in the face of its users. And that's Bing Search in Windows Search. You can see the stuff is everywhere. And as mentioned, I think Microsoft has been prioritizing Bing Search too much in some cases in Windows Search. And this also applies to Windows 11, um, Windows Search, Bing Search. And for me, Bing Search, just on a side note, is more like an advertisement, really, um, in the Windows Search. And to some extent or the other, I do feel is a unnecessary component. But obviously, I suppose that depends on which so-called side of the fence you are sitting on in regards to Microsoft and Bing Search. And then the last one just to mention for this video are the user interface, the UX inconsistencies, especially in regards to dark mode. Where if you have dark mode set, other components of the operating system, especially legacy components, are in a light mode. So there's not a consistency. Now, although Microsoft is starting to work on this more and more over on Windows 11, to make things more consistent as I've been talking about recently. I still feel that by this time on Windows 10 and Windows 11, this should have been nailed and they should have had a consistent dark mode, light mode across all departments and components in the operating system, but not to be. So that's just a couple of the elements in the OS that even after 10 years, 
Microsoft hasn't been able to fully fix and get right 100%. Let me know your thoughts down below. What do you think? Maybe you can name a couple you think that Microsoft hasn't fixed. Let me know your thoughts down below. So thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.